Hey guys, yeah, hey, it is good. It's me, Miss Lynn Turtle, and I have a video today for you all about how to construct this metal unistrat loom that someone requested. <laughs> I thought, well, okay, well, that's a good idea. I'll show you guys how to make this. Well, my husband is going to show you, but I am going to be narrating because he doesn't want to be in the video at all, except for maybe his hands, right? <laughs> okay, he's looking at me like he's going to kill me, but okay. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make this loom. This is my loom and this is the one my husband made for me. So we're going to show you how. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so um, I was going to tell you what you're going to need in order to build this loom. So, go ahead. Um, you're going to need a 3 8 by 1 inch bolt, 3 8 lock washer, 2 fender washers or flat washers, and 3 8 nut. You're going to need 12 of them. Five thirty seconds turnbuckles, or whichever size you want, depending on how big your loom is. At least eight of these quarter twenty bolts. Uh, these are an inch and a half long. They have a seven sixteenth hex head on the front of it. At least four of these five sixteenth self tapping screws. Tape measure. Two Unistrut L brackets, preferably the four hole. They make a two hole, but it won't be as sturdy. Some Unistrut square feet just to help give you some balance without having legs spread out all over the place. Sort of a wrench or a channel lock. Your socket wrench with a 9 16 socket on it. Four to three eighths bolts. A drill with the 5 16 nut driver. Uh, your feet or the bottom bar of your loom. The upper bar of your loom. These two are cut the same length. The two for your sides, which these two are drilled and tapped for the quarter 20 bolts so you can put your pieces of wood across your round wood okay so all these stuff you can find at your local hardware store right what section do you find these in uh, most of it will be in mechanical and plumbing and electrical mechanical plumbing and electrical you should find most of these supplies okay so he's He's gonna he grabs one of the legs and then he's gonna bolt the first side to it. This one is the three eighths bolt. Three eighths bolt. Lock washer. Lock washer. Three eighths fender washer. And a three eighths fender washer. Go in there. Drop this down. And all he's doing is tightening it. Yeah, you just want to get it snug until everything's together and then you can tighten it all down. Okay. So notice he's doing it to both. There's one leg. Alright, so do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to tighten the bottom because we're going to put the bottom piece in and mainly because you won't be able to reach it, right? Yeah, so you won't be able to reach it. That's why we're tightening the bottom one. Alright, so for the bottom, uh, my husband said he drilled a hole. Yeah, that way we can put the quarter. That's larger than this. That's large. Yeah, so he said to drill a hole that's larger than these. 
so it can go through and thread the bottom piece. Yeah. So we can put it together. See the threads are lining up. So he's basically just putting this in there. How do you drill this hole? What do you have to use? A uh, quarter inch metal drilling bit. Quarter inch metal drill, drill bit. A quarter inch metal drilling bit. So this drills into metal. All you need is a drill. And it drills right into there making a hole. Okay, next we're going to put the top on. And the sets that he has. He's putting it together on there. Okay. So, like, so it has the the bolt. Lock washer. Lock washer. Fender washer on this on the top side and a oh, washer and then the other side and a fender washer and then the, to close it. All right, he's checking to make sure they line up. Okay, so he's finishing the top just like he did the other side. Okay, so now you're gonna want to feed one down so it's down there. A washer. Mm -hmm. Another one. Okay. Once you close this, you will not be able to put it in there. Okay. So we make gotta make sure we put two washers down before we close it off. And slide it up. Slide it up. Like that. So the same thing like he did to the top. And do the same thing to the side. So two washers down. So before you close it off. So put two washers down here. And then we're gonna slide that back on. Bring up the washers and put the nut, close it together. All right, lastly, now that everything is together, we're going to tighten everything. Alright, so what helps is the channel locket and the ratchet. So that's it for the main structure of the loom. And um, it's like I said, it's pretty simple. The only prep work is that extra drilling with the middle bit. And everything else is um, just kind of putting together and tightening. Like I said, my loom is like a 24 by 24 inch. Right? So two feet by two feet. Um, so you can extend it and you can widen it. So the only thing is you're going to have to get different leaks. Uh, if you make a much bigger loom, larger than the one we're doing here, you need to take another piece of unistrut like this, shallow, which is the narrower one, and then you got a deep strut. So either one of these would work. So with this foot gone, you could easily bolt it across here to make a, a wider foot. foot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then same thing with the loom. If you want it to be taller or wider, 
All you gotta do is take this piece out, put a longer piece in, and it just bolts all together. Whereas wood, it starts to fall apart. The more and more you take it apart and put it back together, this one will not do that. Okay, so good. So uh, we would suggest longer legs if you did want it wider and taller. Um, if you just want it taller, you just change this out, the length of it. Um, um, it should hold, but, right? If you wanted it taller. This foot? Yeah. Or um, you can sell the white in your foot, too. You, you just have to judge it. Oh, okay. Well, um, basically, you can make it taller. You can make it longer if you want or wider. Um, you just have to think about the foot and the physics behind it. So, obviously, if something's taller or more heavy, you're always going to need longer legs for it. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, so, like I said, it was easy if you're not that well equipped, meaning maybe you're not that type of person who's well, who's really handy, or that technical, they don't have that technical skill, you may find this a little challenging, so if you are, find someone who has that technical skill. I'm um, not saying that you can't do it, you can do it, I'm just saying that it might be a little challenging. So for the unit strut, they only come in certain sizes, so if you want a small limb, you have to cut it and my husband used it or cut it using a sawzall I used a bandsaw or a bandsaw but you can use either one right yeah or yeah. a hacksaw it's a metal cutting hacksaw or a metal cutting hacksaw <laughs> so all right so keep that in mind as well all right so the last thing is he had to cut a hole drill a hole he had to drill a hole on the side right here in the front and tap it. Tap it means basically making the threads. threads. That way you can screw this in. And this works perfectly for holding your rods in place. So that's the one suggestion I would add to it as well. Alright, last but not least, this one is your turnbuckle. And this is just basically to hold the loom and, you know, and give you the option to tighten it basically. So basically if it's a skinny one, you can grab a washer and just put it on top like this. That way it doesn't fall through the hole. All right, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was helpful. I will have a PDF down below that lists all the parts of it and everything that you're gonna need with a little bit more specific detail. So this one was with the metal and wood and it's more durable and everything. So if you want to go this route, um, just remember that, you know, it might be a little bit more challenging um, with the prep work, but I know you can do it. If you do wood, um, it's going to be a little different, but basically wood's going to be pretty simple. So you just cut and basically piece, screw, or nail things together. But for the um, wood, see like we used, used these screws to hold the rods in place. Um, you can use nails. You can even use screws too. You just You just need something to hold it in place. I have seen people actually screw holes in the wood. So if this was a piece of wood, they would screw a hole big enough for the rods and put it through to hold the rods in place. And remember that this is going to hold, this needs to hold your rods so we can put the strings on. So just remember that tip when you're building your loom. Hopefully you guys liked that video. It was pretty, mm, it, it looks really simple because all the prep work's already done. You know, you didn't really see behind the scenes where you kind of cut some of the pieces and drill some of the pieces beforehand. So, but anyway, um, I guess I'll leave it at that. And I shall talk to you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Not sure what the next video is, but um, hope you guys are having a good day. Remember, it is good.